In this video, we will be looking at fraction word problems. If you are uncomfortable with fractions, then watch my fractions videos first. These word problems are available on my blog. The address is below in the description of this video. Pause this video and download the questions first so you can try them on your own, and then finish watching the video to watch me work them out for you. In the first question, we have a carpenter who made a mistake and cut a board too short. We are told how long the board is and how short it is. So in this problem, we need to add 3 and 3 fourths to 3 sixteenths to find the correct length for the board. Remember when we are adding fractions that we have to have the same denominators for both of our fractions, the same bottom numbers. And these two numbers don't have the same denominators. We have a 4 on the bottom and a 16 on the bottom. So remember from my fractions video that the first thing we have to do is find the new bottom number that they'll both fit into. Both 16 and 4 will actually fit into 16. Now I just have to think to myself, what happened to the old bottom numbers to turn them into the new bottom numbers? The 16 was multiplied times 1 to make it a 16, so the top number is going to be 3 times 1, because we have to do the same thing to the top number as we did to the bottom. The other fraction, 3 over 4, also got turned into something over 16. What happened to the 4 to make it a 16? We multiplied it times 4. So you'll have to do the same thing to the top number there. So you'll get 3 times 4 is 12. Now we have the same bottom numbers for our fractions and we can add those together. 12 plus 3 gets me to 15 over 16. And 3 plus nothing in the whole numbers just leaves me a 3. So that board should have been 3 and 15 sixteenths feet long. In the second problem, we have the same carpenter cutting boards, and now he has figured out his mistake and is cutting boards correctly. In the question, we are asked how long four of the correctly cut boards would be. So we take the correct length from question number one, three and fifteen sixteenths, and multiply it times four. Before we can multiply this mixed number, however, we have to change it to an improper fraction. So remember, we'll do the bottom number times the whole number, 3 times 16, and that gets me to 48, and then add the top number, 15, so that I end up with 63 over 16, being multiplied times 4, because I have 4 boards, and we'll put a 1 under that 4 so that we have 2 fractions being multiplied times each other. I'll go ahead and do some reducing here, canceling out the 4 and the 16, so that I end up with, when I multiply, 63 over 4. And remember, we can turn this back into a mixed number by taking 63 and dividing it by 4. 4 goes into 6 one time, leaves 2, and I bring down the 3, so that 4 into 23 goes 5 times, and we'll have 3 left over. But remember, with our fractions, we don't call them remainders anymore. We'll make it 15 and 3 fourths. So if you put together four of those correctly cut boards, they would total 15 and 3 fourths feet. In the third question, we read about Jill going on a diet. We are told how much she weighed both before the diet and after. We are asked to find the difference between the two weights to find out how much Jill lost, so we must subtract to find the answer. We will have to borrow first, though, because we can't take 7 eighths away from 3 eighths. So we borrow from the 145, making it a 144, and carry over 8 over 8. When we add that to the 3 eighths that was already there, we get 11 eighths. And we can take 7 away from 11. That'll leave 4 eighths. We'll go back and do the whole numbers. 144 minus 138. We'll have to borrow some more. And we get 6 and 4 eighths. But remember that 4 eighths can be reduced down to 1 half. So the final answer here is 6 and a half pounds. The fourth question tells us more about Jill's diet. If she continues to lose weight at the same amount, how much will she lose after 6 weeks? We won't take 6 and a half and multiply it by 6 though, because we were told in the last question that she lost 6 and a half pounds over a 2 week period. Therefore, we will actually be multiplying 6.5 times 3. This is a case of it being very important to read the question closely to see what conditions are being set forth in the question. 
Before we can multiply six and a half though, we will have to turn it into the improper fraction, 13 over two. Take that and multiply it times three over one, and we will get 39 over two. We can take 39 over two and change that into the mixed number answer that we're looking for. And we will get 19 and one half. Over the course of six weeks, Jill will lose 19 and one half pounds. We will finish up looking at Jill's diet in question number five. If she loses the weight that we think she will over six weeks, how much will she weigh after the weight has come off? We will have to subtract to find the answer since we are saying that she loses the weight. We will have to change our denominators and do a little bit of borrowing in this question. Both of our denominators will turn into eights, so we get a four here and a three here. We can't take four away from three without borrowing though, so we turn that into 144, carry over an eight over eight and get 11 over eight. We take four away from 11 and we get seven eighths. We come over here and borrow a little bit more. And we get 125 and 7 eighths. So at the end of her six week diet, Jill now weighs 125 and 7 eighths pounds. Our last question is talking about Timmy watching trains for a portion of his day. Because we are looking at a portion, we will have to multiply the portion we are dealing with times the whole amount. So if it's a fraction, we multiply times three-fourths. If it's a percent, we multiply times 75%. Since we are being asked to answer the question in minutes, instead of hours, our first step will actually be to convert one hour into 60 minutes. So in order to multiply this, I will have to first put one under that 60 to turn the whole number into a fraction. Then I'll do a little bit of reducing to save myself some headache later, and I end up with 45 over one which of course is the same thing as 45. So young Timmy watches trains for 45 minutes a day. If you found this video helpful, please like it and share it with others. Don't forget to subscribe if you want to stay up to date with the latest videos. Thanks for watching.